Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Gothic 3 again. At least some things to do in the meantime. Man, this frame rate is terrible. Okay, so... Let's see, we've got a couple different jobs we need to do. I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll... Uh, get the... Uh, eager slave to take us to the uh, wolf mine. Even though we've already found it, uh, we need to, him to bring us there. For some reason. I don't know why we can't do it all at once, but we need him to bring us there. And from there we can uh, we can send the rest his way. Really, although Nimrock is, seems to kind of defy this point by saying that we should clear out the wolves before we take any slaves there. He does say that we should get a... we should find a slave who can lead us there. And that would be this guy. Particularly eager slave. Can't you just tell? He looks so excited. Take me to the wolf mine. Says who? Nemrock says so. The orc colonel? Looks like I have no choice then. All right. Damn right you don't. Follow me. I will show you the wolf mine. You better. Get moving, you bum. Wait, since we already know the way, I'm not really going to show this to you guys. I'll just cut back to when we are, in fact, uh, back here sending more slaves his way. And here we be again. This is it. The wolf mine. Grab a pickaxe, then, and get to work. This mine must be made profitable once again. Am I supposed to run the mine all by myself? Just wait. I will get you some more eager workers. Damn right I will. So, this is actually the first uh, recording I've done since I started Risen 3. And almost right away I noticed uh, how much that game is affecting how I play this. Namely, in the fact that uh, I was trying to use middle mouse button to draw my weapon. And so, quite rapidly, I've already rebounded it to do that. Just because I want to keep the controls kind of consistent, otherwise I'm just going to get confused as I bounce between these two. So, since we got the particularly eager slave to go out there and uh, start the mine, we have to find him a few more assistants. For some reason, they don't need guards. <laughs> I never really understood that, why we don't get guards or at least supervisors out there to make sure they don't run away. <laughs> uh, apparently, the orcs uh, in this town rely quite heavily on the honor system. Get moving to the wolf mine. All right. No questions asked. Unfortunately, the rest of them are probably working in... The uh, mine here. I don't know why we can't just take any old slaves. We have to take the ones that are particularly eager, in spite of not being very excited at all. Of course, these are all the fools that I uh, knocked around during a convenient montage. I don't really remember where they'd be. I'm used to them being outside. Slave merchant, farmer, soldier, hunter. Rebel, rebel, slave from Corinus, eager slave. Here we go. You will now enter the wolf mine and dig for artifacts there. No problem. I've just been waiting for someone to yell, "Go forth!" Go forth. The digger. Who are you, herdsman, digger, mercenary? Farmer. Farmer. Worker. Eager. Go to the wolf mine and start digging again. Then what if I don't? Then I'll punch you in the mouth. Uh, since you're asking so nicely, uh, I'm on my way. And that's it. Uh, did I say four? Because... There are only three. I might have said four. I couldn't really remember. Anyway, so that's done. 
The wolf mine will start producing again, assuming the slaves don't just take off. And now we should report back to Nimrock. Let him know that we have at least done our part of the job. Is there anything back here? I've never actually looked back here before. Nope. Just some crumbly bits. Don't cause any trouble here. Got it? Whatever you say, bruh. All right, Nimrod. The wolf mine is back in operation. I'm curious how long it will take before anything arrives here. Good work, Mora. That's that. It's still just short of being able to see the leader. However, uh, we actually have two, at least two more quests that we can do here. Nimrock, the artifact. Open up the mine north of Gildern. Secret of Mirza. I think that one is also one that we can get to uh, get reputation from. But these are the three tasks that will gain you reputation in Gildern. And we're going to do all three of them. I'm going to do everything I possibly can here before we do anything else. I'm not going to kill Torn. I probably won't do the Golden Plates because that's really hard without uh, taking everyone out. First Paladin is how much we can do. And I'll see about doing the Seven Rings, but again, that's going to be really tough. Uh, some of the rings are in the temple that these shamans are in. And are difficult to access, and I'm hoping that once we get our reputation above uh, 75, is there a Okay, E is just turn, right. So I was going to rebind the take all key to E, but I think that might cancel out what it's used for already, and I don't want to do that. So I do like having these controls. It's a shame that uh, Pranabites no longer supports that control scheme. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm hoping that once I get my reputation above 75 and the... Uh, the town, like I'm friendly towards the town again, hopefully they'll stop being so hostile when I start stealing things again, because otherwise it's going to make those quests very hard to accomplish. Now, uh, what's his name? Renwick did say that there was a uh, there was a King Sorrel around here, which is actually right in this patch of grass here, so right next to this fence. That's where you can find it if you need it. Very useful to have. Now in here is a bit of a fuss. Now it's already surprising enough that there was a stone golem on the road between Sildin and Geldern. But as it happens there's another one in here. And I remember he surprised the hell out of me the first time I came in here. Because it's almost like they planned this. You see Right there, there is a gold vein. And in my excitement, I ran over and started mining it. I turned around to see this big fucker chasing me down. As you can imagine, I was quite frightened. I actually remember screaming so loud, I think someone else in the house heard it. But what was funny was he wasn't attacking me while I was mining this. So he came up right behind me and he waited patiently while I did this. And then I turned around and promptly died. Very frightening. I'll have that. Not sure we'll ever have a use for it, but it's there if we need it. There was some stuff to mine here. Enough so that I'm kind of surprised that they decided it wasn't worth uh, mining here anymore. Although they were trying to mine for artifacts here. Still, they seem to expose enough veins of minerals. Now... I haven't really gotten into it too much, but I think some of the new areas in Risen 3 actually... They have caves that are much more... complex. Uh, in this one... 
in in Gothic three, and in Risen two, the caves were incredibly like cookie cutter. In fact, this cave, if you haven't noticed, it it looks exactly the same as not only the cave that Ortega is hiding in, or was hiding in after we since we killed him, but also the cave that uh, we cleared out with. Uh, what was his name? Randall, the big uh, rebel warrior outside of Okara. The only difference with Randall's cave is there weren't these uh, open, sort of windowish things here. And there are a lot of caves that turn out like this. In fact, if we take out this side segment here and close off these openings here, it looks just like the bandit cave between. Uh, Dominic's farm and Montera. So, there wasn't a whole lot of originality to the caves. It was just, this is as big as they got, and they would cut off some areas of some of them just to make them look a little bit different. And there, there are a few other, you know, Nothing styles. That, there. Uh, I already did that one. A few other styles that they had, but overall, I think they just kind of mostly depended on each other. There were probably like three basic uh, layouts that they had, and they just adapted them. Anyway, so this is the cave that they said was no longer profitable. Let's just see. Oh, hang on now. There's somebody digging here. And you look a, a hashishin. What are you doing digging around here alone? Damn. It must be somewhere. You're a Hashishin, right? Yes. And... Is that so unusual? Just watch out. If you touch a hair on my head, I'll tell my brother. Is your brother called Mirzo? I see you've already had the pleasure of meeting him. Then you also know what will happen if you bother me while I work. Not really. I bothered him once and I kicked his ass. What are you looking for? Artifacts, you lunatic. What else? Beat it! I don't really like the way you're talking to me. You hit me, you dog! I did. Eat it. So this guy's a pushover as well. He's not any tougher than his brother. Even though he's not quite the fat bastard that his uh, brother Mirso is. So he's mining for artifacts in spite of the fact that uh, the orcs said it was no longer profitable. Evidently he's found something that the orcs missed. And uh, him and his brother are making a profit out of it. Hmm. Sounds like something we can use to uh, persuade that crafty devil brother of his. There's no particular reason that I beat him up other than the fact that I could get away with it. And I believe that's... Oh, no, there's one more here. So there's a good bit of gold to find here as well. A tiny bit of ore and some degree of sulfur if you're... if you have any need for that. Okay, let's head back to Geldern then find out what kind of use we can make from this knowledge. Oh, buddy, I know something you don't want me to know. You let your own brother Mazin dig up artifacts in the abandoned mine. Uh. How in Beliar's name did you find out about that? The poor devil is digging his hands raw out there so that you can make a profit here. Psst, not so loud. You don't have to let everyone know. I'll pay you a pretty sum if you keep it to yourself. Here, take this, my friend. The orcs mustn't know that the abandoned mine to the north is productive again. If they find out, they will reoccupy the mine. Then I would be ruined. You act as if that's a bad thing. 
Well, he's paid us 500 gold to keep our mouths shut. But he's still a bastard, so I don't see any reason why we can't swindle him as well. The abandoned mine is still productive, after all. How do you know that? Mirzo the Hashishin gets his artifacts from there. Not anymore. I'll put the mine back into operation. Very good work. Here is your reward. You earned it. Excellent. Well, my friend Mirzo, what have you to say about that? You bastard! You told the orcs about the abandoned mine! Admit it! You'll pay for this! I will send you to Belayar! Hey, you tried once and you failed miserably. Hey, folks, there's a fight! Now hey, you've folks, only got a stick. There's a fight. God damn it. Uh, on, you can take him. How do you like that? Uh, Boom! Uh, Whack, whack. Oh, Nothing to be had. Cowardly Mora, I just kicked his ass. You bastard. God damn, we should play for the Lakers. Look at this shit. I can hop over fools' heads left and right. Not to mention I can go where the hell I want once I jump. <laughs> That's just so funny to see. So I believe that once we've told everybody, or once we told Nemrock, he actually sends people back out here to start mining it again. I believe. One thing you do have to watch out for, of course, are the ogres up here. What business they have roaming about there, I have no idea. They are as dangerous as ever. Yep. So you have already moved back in. There's nobody here of consequence, I just wanted to take a look at it. So there's four orcs kind of guarding the entrance. Ooh, gold nugget. Didn't notice that before. And within, plenty of slaves already hard at work. Wonder what happened to his brother. Oh, looky, looky. He's still here, the exact same spot digging. Done enough in this life. I just want to sleep. <laughs> so I guess he's gotten a little bit weary. I think the orcs are of uh the orcs have taken advantage of him a little bit. Although he's not a slave trader, I consider it a somewhat poetic irony that the uh oh, hang on now. Actually, it does seem like there is a reason to come back here. It looks like there's a lot of, at least a small amount of uh, resources that have suddenly showed up here on the ground. I unless I just walked past them before, but I doubt at least one of them would not have come up when I uh, moused past it. What were you doing there? Anyway. So that's that. We have two more jobs now. One is to open up the mine south of Geldern, or north of Geldern. And uh, another one to try and find an artifact for Nimrock that lies. Uh, far. Whoa, I just went to Cape Dunn. I grabbed the wrong teleport stone. Okay, so even though I have uh, over 75% reputation in Gelder, and these guys are still rather suspicious of me. All their names are still Lauren, so I guess I was wrong about that. I think that used to happen in unpatched versions of the game, but I guess they've changed it. That's a mite unfortunate. So that means I cannot safely steal anything from here anymore. There is a skill you can learn 
which will make it, which will raise your chances of being able to talk down anyone who accuses you of a crime. I don't know if it affects your chance at succeeding in a bribe, but overall I've never really found it to be effective enough to justify uh, how much it costs to get it. So I would not really recommend getting that. It's not worth your time or money or learning points. So of course, down here, shit tons of mine crawlers. So what would no mine be without them? As you can see, once again, this uh, this mine is exactly like I said it was. It looks exactly the same coming down this way come down here, the difference is there's no opening there, and that side passage is cut off, but otherwise it looks exactly the same. In fact, it's exactly the same as the one that the bandits are hiding in outside of Montero. This is where that light spell proves useful. Die, you buggers! Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I'm out of mana! Let's see if I can manage this. Oh, goodness. You little bastards. Are you kidding me? Only one ever has to block. And one of them will always be blocking. Alright, there we go. You little bastards. Oh, you bugger. Get stabbed, bitch. Oh man, these things hurt. Yeah, eat it. Can't do shit. You little bastard. What the? I slipped. Yeah, what do you want now? <clears throat> Bugger. How do you like that? And that's it. Not as smoothly as I would have liked, but we succeeded. Let's pull out a torch. I don't feel like using mana just to use a light spell or the torches torches there you are now as I've said before the the uh, shadows in this are actually kind of impressive although there's a bit of a kind of a bug with the torch itself it looks like a looks like a hexagon or something but otherwise, you see the shadows that everything casts just from this uh, torch here. At the time, I don't think you really saw too many shadows like that in many games. So I was kind of impressed with that, but it gets glitchy a lot. There are times when the, um, the light just straight up disappears. Got a weathered stone tablet. That's the uh, bigger... Ancient Knowledge tab Tablet. It's worth quite a lot. And now I just lost my uh, torch. Oh no, I didn't. Cool. I don't believe you'll pull it back out once we mine these, though, so... You're gonna be in the dark for a little while. Oh, I lied. Alright, well, at any rate, I'm just gonna mine these really quick, and then we will move on. Alrighty, and we're done there. I'm just gonna take a nap really quick in town so I can safely get back to Samuel, who's way out at the gold mine. Tea. Oh, I don't want to learn anything about thievery. Uh, Larry's will have a quest for us later as part of the mod. I'm not really sure what triggers it if or, or if it just triggers a certain amount of time after you first speak with him. 
But uh, it would have been easier if he gave it to us now, since we're heading out towards Samuel again. Because, like I said, I think in the... I think in uh, one of the previous episodes, uh, there, one of Samuel's followers is important to Larry's quest. And it took me forever to actually figure out how to do the quest, because it wasn't until recent editions of this mod that they actually gave uh, Samuel's... one of Samuel's followers the name that he actually has in the international in some of the international versions of this game the english version neither of them had names the, one of his followers is apparently named bricks and that's extremely important because he did not have such a name in the uh, english version i never meted you meted <laughs> i'm not sure Gutted? I don't think so. What's, what would the actual word be for that? Butchered, I suppose. Right, well, let's head up here. Back to Dawson's Mine. Alright, Samuel. I've taken a look at the undeveloped mine north of Geldern. The mine ought to be secure now. Good work. I'll arrange for all the work that needs to be done for the mining to start. You're pretty useful, stranger. Here's your pay. And that, my friends, is that. The last job we have is to go to the old ruin to find whatever we can get there. The north is an old ruin on top of a crag. This is the crag upon which that ruin lies. As you can see, there's not really an easy way to get up there. We have to take a very long way around. That, for all intents and purposes, would probably be easier to get to from Silden. Especially because if you try to go around here, which is the only way to get up there, there are trolls. One big troll, two big troll, and I believe a third big troll somewhere. Obviously, these guys are not something we care to fuss with right now. What's interesting is they... They used to look... Honestly, pretty stupid. I hated the appearance of them, but they... Obviously, the content mod has reskinned them... To look like they're... Gothic counterparts. And this is one case where actually they did a decent job of it. But he's such a big guy that any mistakes would be pretty apparent, so... Doesn't surprise me that they... Oh wow, that one's actually following me. I thought I'd get around him. No matter, they don't chase you for very long. There are a lot of things to worry about up here. In fact, getting this artifact... Why are you still following me? I think he stopped. 